Hello friends. In today's video, we will talk about flapping tremors. It is the inability to maintain sustained posture with subsequent brief shock-like involuntary movements. This motor disorder is a negative myoclonus characterized by muscular inhibition, whereas muscle contractions produce positive myoclonus. Asterixis can either be unilateral or bilateral and is typically asynchronous, irregular and variable in frequency and amplitude. So we ask the patient to extend his arms, dorsiflex the wrist and spread the fingers similar to pushing against a wall with the eyes closed. This is done to test for the flaps at the wrist. It is not present at rest and best elicited on sustained posture. The exact mechanism underlying the asterixis remains elusive. It can be due to diffuse widespread derangement of the CNS function. Drowsiness in the normal people and diffuse central nervous system lesions can also produce asterixis, perhaps by their effects on the alerting or arousal mechanisms. It was suggested that asterixis is due to abnormal activity in the motor field in the cerebral cortex. Now, let us see this patient. When asked to maintain this sustained posture, this patient is not able to maintain it. The hands resemble flapping of a bird's wings, hence known as flapping tremors. What are the causes? Metabolic encephalopathy, especially hepatic and uremic encephalopathy, cardiac and respiratory failure, unilateral asterixis is usually because of the focal brain lesions in the thalamus, midbrain, parietal cortex, and frontal cortex. Certain electrolyte abnormalities, primarily hypoglycemia and hypokalemia, and drug intoxication like phenytoin can lead to asterixis.